student my name is confident welcome to our short lesson uh, this is the 24 minute lesson except and I just thought of giving you a quick a solving for X which I was doing with my students but funny part they did struggle when it came to solving this maybe it might also be of benefit to you and this is also suitable for those who are doing their mathematics and three even grade 11 um, is also suitable because this is just algebra so it's actually suitable for everyone who has to understand algebra from n2 yes but mainly n3 and grade 12 that's what can be even i mean grade 11 that's where it can be applicable so look at this you are given just a simple problem it's three marks it was taken from a previous paper and it says we need to solve for x given that so now the question is what are we given we're given that square root of x cubed is equal to 12 now we need we are we are expected to solve for x now let's do first things first um i'm going to do it in two versions uh, let me just use um, a straight line so i'm going to do it in two versions let's do it the first one uh if um assuming you want to show whatever you're doing now remember this sign square root is same as like it's in brackets and power half that's what, that is what actually this sign means so when you are saying square root you are actually saying to the power of half half so if we are given um, square root of x cubed is equal to 5 1 2 so what I have is in brackets x cubed now to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 5, 1, 2. So that's what it's, it's, it's actually saying. So now we are going to multiply these two exponents there three times a half. So you have got x to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 5, 1, 2. So how do you simplify then that? Now you have to multiply by the inverse of that exponent. Now, if you have got 3 over 2, the inverse will be 2 over 3. Remember, these are exponents. Now, on the other side, the default power is 1. And you also say 1 times what you do on the left, you do on the right, which is 2 over 3. When you do that, it then allows you to cancel this other part so that you have got your x is equal to 5 to the power. I mean, 5, 1, 2. 1 times 2 over 3 is to the power of 2 over 3. Now, if you use a calculator, therefore, it will be 5, 1, 2, to the power of 2 over 3. And then the answer is 64. So you see, that is the value of x. And you can quickly test it. Whether it's x, you are going to say square root of 64 cubed and it is going to give you 512 so you see that the answer therefore is correct now what is the method 2 that i was talking about now method 2 that i was saying is is the quicker version now to say if i'm given as you see it's x cubed i mean x square root of x cubed is equal to 512 the first thing first what I do is, remember, if there is a square root, to, to get rid of that square root, I square on both sides like that. That is the first thing. Focus on the square root such that when that square root falls off, you now have x cubed is equal to, now 5 squared. You can leave it like that, but you can write the final answer as uh, for that particular 5 squared in which case let me write it down let me find 5 squared i mean 5 1 2 squared it will be 2 6 2 1 4 4 2 6 2 1 4 4 so that's what we're having now how do you find the x now in x what you need to do because of that cube you find the cube root and also what you do on the left you do on the right you find the cube root of that so you'll have therefore x is equal to and 
what you do here you say um keep root of 262144 and if you do that you can see that equal to 64 which we have tested and we have seen that it does um, correspond with the answer after testing so this is ways in which you could have solved this particular problem in algebra and remember guys if you are benefiting from these lessons i will encourage you to subscribe to our channel and also to press the like button and also if you want to be notified of videos there is a small bell on the on the youtube whereby you can press it and activate it so that you'll be notified every time we post a video we've come to the end of our lesson thank you